What's good everyone? Welcome back to our brand new video. So let's say if you are or if you have been using Google Board, which is a known for Z board for quite a long time, you're in your any other device, you probably want to use that Z board on your iPhone as well. Therefore, in this video, we'll be showing you how easily you can set up the Z board on your iPhone very easily. So the first things we're going to be doing right here, go ahead and open up your app store and look for your keyboard. So here, go ahead and just type Z board tap search and then you're gonna get this Zboard right over here so let's go ahead and download the Zboard first tap install well if it's prompt for the password go ahead and enter the password to download it now after just downloading your Zboard go ahead and open it up now it is giving you all this visual effect which you probably can use on the Zboard right here so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and tap get started now go ahead and just tap get started one more time here you need to just enable your zboard to allow your iphone to set it up as a default keyboard for yourself now the first things you're going to be doing just go ahead and tap keyboard toggle on the zboard from here just tap full access tap allow and now you're all good to go if i just go and get out of here let's go ahead and open up the masses to check whether it's coming up or not so i'm just going to go ahead and tap on right Oops, it's not still there, but don't worry. There's a way around you simply can add it from here. Just go ahead and tap and hold this browse option from here. And you simply can come down here and tap on your Zboard. And there you go. Go ahead and tap got it. And now you can see your Zboard now set it up on your iPhone as a default keyboard. From now on, you actually can use your Zboard to do whatever you want. And that is for it now. All right, now let's go ahead and talk a little about to that Google keyboard right here. There's a bunch of things that you guys can do. Let's go ahead and talk about it. The first things you can do actually, if you just go ahead and tap on the Google icon right here, it will give you some different options such as you can search anything you want on the Google. You can also translate any language if you want. You also can search anything on YouTube and also maps and contact as well. And another things that you guys can do from here, you actually can send a tremendous amount of emojis just by tapping up on the settings and then tap emojis. You actually can send a bunch of emojis that you guys want to send anybody that you literally want. So there are a bunch of categories right down here. You simply can use them as well. And this is how you actually can use your Gboard on your iPhone. All right, guys, hope this video helps you find out a way to download this Gboard on your iPhone. And you also can use it as a default keyboard as well if you find this video useful just let us know through comments and that would be a great way to communicate with you and thank you very much for watching this video we will see you in the next one